The fourth most common question or misconception that is there in the minds of non-Muslims is that why was Islam spread by the sword? Islam comes from the root word salam which means peace. It is also derived from the Arabic word silm which means to submit your will to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thus, Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Islam, it is the religion of peace. Each and every human being in this world is not in favor of maintaining peace. There are many who would want to disrupt it for their own personal gain. This is precisely the reason why we have the police that needs to use force sometimes so that peace and justice will prevail in the country. Islam exhorts its followers towards peace. But sometimes force has to be used in order for peace and justice to prevail. So Islam is the religion of peace, but sometimes force has to be used so that peace and justice will prevail in the country. And the best reply to the misconception that Islam was spread by the sword is given by the famous historian Delassie O'Leary in his book Islam at the Crossroad on page number eight. He says, that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world, forcing Islam at the point of the sword, is the most fantastically absurd myth that historians have ever repeated. We Muslims, we ruled Spain for 800 years. We Muslims, we ruled Spain for a long duration of time. Yet today, there are many non-Muslims who are available in Spain. Later on, the non-Muslims came and they wiped out the Muslims. There was not a single Muslim who could openly give the Adhan that is a call for prayer. We Muslims, we are the lords of Arabia. We rule Arabia for 1400 years. For a few years, the French came. For a few years, the British came. But overall, Muslims ruled Arabia for 1400 years. Yet today in Arabia, there are no less than 9 million Arabs who are Coptic Christians. These 9 million Arabs who are Coptic Christians, they are bearing witness that Islam was not spread by the sword. If we wanted, we could have converted all of these people at the point of the sword. We didn't do it. We Muslims, we rule India for about a thousand years. Yet today in India, 80% of the Indians, approximately they are non-Muslims. They are bearing witness that Islam was not spread by the sword. Which Muslim army went to Indonesia, which has the maximum percentage of Muslims? More than 200 million Muslims. Which Muslim army went to Malaysia, which has 63 to 64% Muslims today. Which Muslim army went to the east coast of Africa? Which sword? The reply is given by Thomas Carlyle in his book, Heroes and Hero Worship. The sword indeed, but where will you get your sword? Every new idea originates in the mind of one. One man against the whole world that he will propagate his message. You must pick up your sword and propagate. What sword is Thomas Carlyle talking about? Is he talking about the sword of metal and steel? He's talking about the sword of intellect, the sword of reasoning. Even if we had the sword of metal and steel, we could not use it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 256, Truth stands out clear from error. Let there be no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah An-Nahl, chapter number 16, verse number 125, Invite to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preachings and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. We cannot force anyone to accept Islam at the point of the sword or at the point of the gun. And... There was an article published in the Reader's Digest Almanac Yearbook, 1984, and was reprinted in the Plain Truth magazine, which showed the increase of the major world religions from 1934 to 1984. And number one religion was Islam, which increased by 235%. Christianity, only 47%. Which war took place between 1934 to 1984, which forced millions of people to accept Islam? Which sword? Today, the fastest growing religion in America is Islam. The fastest growing religion in Europe is Islam. The fastest growing religion in the West is Islam. You know, the media says that Islam subjugates the woman. Do you know out of those people accepting Islam, two-thirds of them are women? Who is forcing these American and European women to accept Islam? Why are they accepting Islam? Because they know 
that Islam has a solution to the problems of humanity. The more the media maligns Islam, the faster it grows. Dr. Adam Pearson said that people who worry that one day nuclear weaponry will fall in the hands of the Arabs, they fail to realize that the Islamic bomb, the bomb of the religion of peace has already been dropped. It fell the day Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born.